Dementia. A small demonstration using VR that approaches various everyday activities through the eyes of an individual suffering from dementia. Learning applications in text format online in care can only do so much in explaining and teaching those that want to learn. With the progress in technology, we can utilize other forms of teaching aids, such as virtual reality like never before. Sit back, give me about seven minutes to show you what it can be like for someone with dementia. Thank you. Use this voice. I should get my medicine prepared for later. They're probably in the cabinet. I'm sure I keep my pills in the cabinet. I knew they were in here. Oh, but wait. Which ones do I need? I remember Shan saying something about colors. But I can't remember. I know. I'll get the biggest box out first to read the instructions. I wish they made these labels easier to understand. What if I take the wrong ones? What did Shan say about colors again? Life would be so much simpler if the drug companies would stop changing the colors of my tablets all the time. I feel like they're trying to confuse me. Ah, there's a yellow post-it note here. That will probably help me. Two red and one blue. Two red and one blue. I'll get the red tablets first and put them down next to my glass of water on the sink here. I'll pop them down next to the glass of water before I look for the blue packet. There we go. And now there's only the blue tablets to get. I'll gently place these with the red pills next to the glass of water. I'm glad that's all done. It always worries me. I don't want to do it wrong, like I did before. I'll brush my teeth and then make myself a nice cup of tea. I'm gasping for a cup of tea. I'll just quickly fill the kettle with water. I feel a bit funny today, if I'm honest. I'm sure this tea will make me feel better. Here we go, I'll just pop this kettle on the hob. I'll use the hob that's already on. It won't be long now, I can see the steam. What's that noise? Who's put the kettle on the hob? That's very dangerous. It wasn't me, was it? But how am I meant to make a cup of tea now? I need to pop into town. I'll get the car keys from the bowl. I always keep the car keys in this bowl. Ha! <laughs> Here we are. I've got them. Oh no, wait. These... Are the house keys? Well, they should be in there. I hope for Maggie's sake that they're in the jar. I'll look in the jar for the keys. No, they're not here. Please let them be hiding underneath the newspaper. Oh, they're not here either. Maggie, I've told her a thousand times to leave my car keys alone. They must be under this hat, then. Nope. Oh, there's only one more place to look. In the drawer. Maggie, I hope you've put them in the drawer for safekeeping. What does this note say? Is this note for me? But I can't get to town without a car. Maggie! 
This is probably Sean calling again. She worries about me all the time these days for some reason. Hello? Hi, Dad. It's me, Sean. I was just calling to make sure you're okay. Did you eat the lunch I left on the counter for you? I can't hear her. What is she saying? Wh who's talking to me? I don't understand what's going on. Who's there? It's Shan, Dad. Oh, my dearest Shan. Why are you calling me from school? It's nearly three o'clock. Dad, I'm not in school. I work now. Do you remember? I'm 36 years old. Your mum left the house a while back. She must be at the school gates by now to meet you. Are you there? Dad, answer me. Oh, dear. What's happening to me? I need to go to Shan. I I'm hanging up. You okay, Dad? I can't hear her. What is she saying? We should have stayed at home. We should hurry. Maggie will be serving lunch at one. Mum died over ten years ago, Dad. You know this. She's such a good wife. And she's always looking after me. The least I can do is turn up on time for lunch. I'll get the bill. Two minutes, Dad. Hello? Yeah, he's with me now. Not great. He's a little bit agitated. He's been talking about Mum again. I don't think he even knows where he is. Why is she talking about me like that? She knows how busy her mother is today. It's laundry day. I'll pay so we can leave. I have money in my wallet. Put your wallet away, Dad. Money confuses you these days, remember? I'll get these. I don't know what to do with him. I'm fine. I'm just worried about him. No, I don't think it's time to be looking at a home. Home? Yes, I want to go home. I don't feel safe here. Where are my car keys? 